This is a follow-up to my last video where I talked about how to um, do like a hello world with EP plus downloading Excel. Um, the, the, the only difference here is I'm, I'm using a template as a starting point instead of a blank sheet. So um, the place that I got the best information about doing this was this website, best for me and I'll, I'll, I'll link to this. This was good documentation. So it was a very, very simple change. The only change from the last video, if you watch that, was in this excel.cs file. And the only difference is um, I actually have the old code here. Or this is pretty similar to the old code. Um, down here, instead of saying um, using a new Excel package, I put this file info new and then I put the file info there and then using Excel package, new Excel package and then I put the name of that um, file there and then instead of creating a brand a new workbook like in the previous case I created package.workbook and I called, called it visit sheet and in this case I'm using an existing worksheet so I just used the index number there, which was zero. Although the documentation said it started at one, but I found it started at zero. Anyway, your mileage may vary. And uh, honestly, that's about it. I will, um, I'll just show you real quick how that works. Um, so I, here is the template that I'm using. So it's just one worksheet that looks like this. And I'm going to dump my data into there. So let's hit preview. And I'll go ahead and put this code in, down in the comments in case, in case that's helpful. All right, it's loading. All right, I'm going to hit download. There it is. Let's open it up. And there's my template with my data put into it. Okay. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.